Hello everybody, welcome back to Beautiful British English. My name is Paul and today our lesson is all about business English. Changing normal English into business English. So what is business English? Well, I suppose business English is more formal vocabulary and more formal ways of presenting data and information. And although in a lot of cases, normal informal words are perfectly fine to use at work or in business situations sometimes you do need more powerful words sometimes you want your language to be more professional and you want to give a, a more sort of a powerful impression of yourself and in that case it's important that you learn how to use different vocabulary to say the same thing so what we're going to look at today is some normal everyday vocabulary and we're going to work on transforming it or creating business English. Okay, so let's take a look at some normal everyday words that I'm sure you're all familiar with already. So here we have some words get, need, talk about, get in touch, make sure, give to let them know, to say why, to talk more or to fix the problem. These are all very, very normal phrases, but we can convert them or change them into more powerful words, um, powerful words that can help you impress people in business situations. Perhaps you're negotiating or you're giving a presentation or you're in a job interview and you just wanna be more powerful with your vocabulary. Okay, so the word get, get is a great word but the more formal version of get, in this case, would perhaps be receive. So to, to get something or to get some information, perhaps you receive some information, okay? So get can become receive. Okay, now if I need something, I need this job. Well, require is a much more powerful word. Um, I require you to do this job immediately, yeah? It's stronger, much more powerful than just need. To talk about something, to talk about can become discuss. So instead of we need to talk about something, which you may do with your friends, um, over a coffee or during um, a dinner, uh, in a business situation, you might want to discuss the details, okay? get in touch might become contact. You might want to get in touch with your friend that you haven't spoken to for two weeks, but perhaps you want to contact your client, okay? Make sure, it's important to make sure that you do your homework. But in a business situation, perhaps you want to ensure that somebody carries out a task effectively. Okay, give, give can become provide. You want to give your friends a present. You want to give something to your, to your family, um, but to your colleagues, to your manager, to your client, you want to provide them with something, yeah? Let them know, I think you should all know this one, inform. Yeah, instead of letting somebody know something, you want to inform somebody. And say why, I think a lot of you will know say why. To say why something is important, to explain why something is important, yeah? The next one might be a little bit more tricky for you. Um, if, you if somebody asks you to talk more, your friend or your family members, talk more about that situation in a more formal environment, you might wish to elaborate. You might ask your client or your manager to elaborate on the situation, please. Okay. Finally, at home, you might want to fix the problem, but at work, you want to solve the problem. Okay. So, these are all words that are great to use in many, many different situations and scenarios, but on the one side, you have the informal language. On the other side, you have the formal language, okay? So practice if you are in a business situation using the more formal 
the more powerful words and that will certainly impress your English speaking colleagues.